Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is going to be um, kind of a different video. This is kind of a back to basics video, um, part of a series I'm calling Unity 101. Um, this isn't going to be your typical kind of intro to Unity, where I, you know, you we go through what the Unity interface is, and then we go through making your first script and things like that. Rather, this is kind of things I wish I knew when I first started using Unity and first started um, programming in C Sharp. Um, and so there are things that I hope. Um, whether you're completely new to Unity or you've been doing it a little while but are still, you know, still feel like you have something to learn, hopefully you'll find something in here, at least one nugget of wisdom in each of these videos that I do. So for this first one, I want to really talk about, um, like I say, going back to basics, talking about um, game objects, components, and classes, and really what the difference is between them and kind of understanding how they all interact together. Because if you're just kind of messing around in Unity or, you know, you've, maybe you've built some stuff but you don't really understand how they all interact, you're not really going to be able to make the best possible use of things. Particularly once you get into going beyond Unity's basic game objects and components and trying to get into actually, you know, coding your own stuff, you really have to understand how all that interplays with one another. So to start, I'm just going to throw open a blank project in Unity here. And there was one quick thing I wanted to um, talk about here, which is why I didn't do this ahead of time. Um, be careful when you're naming your project. I found that if you use spaces in the name of your project, it can um, confuse Monitor Develop. Um, it won't do it right away, I found, but there have been times where either when I've tried to import a um, package from the asset store, or sometimes just at a certain point in my project, I'll suddenly open up Mono Develop and it can't compile the solution for me for all of you know my different files. Um, and I found that the solution was ultimately just getting rid of the spaces in my project name. So for this, I'm just going to call it Unity 101, no spaces. And your, your, your mileage may vary on that, but that's something that I've found has been kind of a gotcha in a couple projects I've worked on, so wanted to mention it. Anyway, create this project. Here we go. So what we've got here is our basic, um, quote-unquote, empty Unity scene. Um, obviously, it's not completely empty. We've got actually two game objects here already. We've got the main camera, and we've got the directional light. And so looking at these, we've got two. And we're actually, I'll add one more up in our game, game object. We'll create an empty game object, because that's the first thing I want to talk about is what is a game object. And so um, here we see these three of them, and they have a couple of things in common, really only two things in common. In fact, if I highlight all of them, you'll see it'll only show you what these things have in common. They have this first, this top um, header up here, which is kind of the game object header, which will have like a name, you can have some tags and stuff, you can determine if it's static or not. That's all right up there. And then they all have a transform. Game objects always have this transform um, component attached to them. Um, it's worth noting that game objects are not the same thing as components. A lot of times when you're coding, you're going to be looking at, um, you know, getting getting different components. Game object isn't actually a component. When you look at the hierarchy of how um, Unity files are built in C Sharp, you see that everything is based on objects because it's object-oriented programming. Game object is one branch of that, and then components are actually the other. They're kind of the they're a sibling. They're you know another offshoot of object, but they're not the same thing as a game object. The game object is, like I say, this item that is in your scene, and then components are designed to be attached to a game object. So yeah, basically a, a game object is really more of a container of components. So what is a component then? Uh, we have this button here, add component. Components are basically, at the end of the day, all of these here are components. We've got a camera component, GUI layer component, flare layer component, audio listener. The directional light has a light component, and that's all it's got. The game object doesn't have any other components right now because we made an empty game object. Um, components, though, are ultimately, they're just classes. They are classes that are that we write or that the um, developers at Unity wrote to specifically to add to game objects. And it's actually a little bit misleading to call them components because they're not exactly components. They are mono behaviors, which are children of components. So like we said before, we've got this sort of a branching thing that there's game objects on one side, then we've got component, and then from component, um, you've got behaviors, and then from there you have mono behaviors. 
And when we attach, when we um, make our classes inherit from mono behavior, that is telling Unity, hey, this class can be attached in the same way that our light here can be attached or that the camera can be attached, that any of these can be attached to a game object. It also, um, using mono behavior also gives you a lot of uh, useful Unity specific functions, particularly checking for events, um, things like start and update. That's what we see actually when we create a um, script from mono behavior. Actually here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're probably familiar, but just so that we can actually put into practice. So we'll just call this um, example class. And when I open this up, I'll zoom it in a little bit here. Um, you see here we've got public class, example class, and inherits from mono behavior. Like I say, this mono behavior means that we can say take this example class and attach it to our game object. So now that's attached on there. But what mono behavior also does is gives us access to things like start, which will detect whenever it's enabled, update, which detects every single time a um, frame happens, um, as well as things like um, on clicks and on collisions and all these sorts of things that are really inherent to Unity, mono behavior is what attaches all that stuff to our class for us without having to do the work. And so if you were to say, delete this mono behavior from here, you'll see that we're gonna suddenly get an error from Unity. And when we go back to game object here, it says the associated script cannot be loaded, fix any compile errors, go down here, uh, object has been destroyed, da, 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 da. This doesn't really tell us what the, what the problem is, and it's, that's too bad, it really should say, you know, hey, you don't have a mono behavior attached. This, what this, in my opinion, should say is there is no mono behavior, or this does not inherit from mono behavior, mm -hmm. so it cannot be attached. If I now remove this component and try to reattach it here, we see it's not inheriting from mono behavior, and I try to bring it up here and attach it. Now it actually tells me can't add script. The script needs to derive from mono behavior. So this right now is a class. When we do this, it becomes what we what we colloquially call a component because now we can attach it to a game object. Um, Unity obviously comes with dozens of pre-made components. Um, things like we've seen here, the light, um, the camera. If we go click add component, um, we see we get a whole list of components that we can potentially add, things like meshes, effects, physics. If we click on any given one of these, we get a bunch of um, additional component, or we get to the actual list of components, things like rigid bodies. All these things that you've probably worked with in Unity are all components, but what they ultimately are at the end of the day is a class that has mono behavior attached to it and then has a bunch of functions and a bunch of variables that you're seeing in the inspector. In the same way that when you add, say, a public, public int here, and we'll call it number because we're not feeling too creative and then we throw that up onto here oh, did that attach yes we get that it's the same same exact idea as how this camera here has a field of view number and a clipping plane number but anyway i hope all of this has been kind of a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it but showing you really how game objects their components and classes all kind of interact with one another so that as you start to build your own classes and build your own components ultimately, um, you really understand why they're working together the way they do. Um, and a lot of that's gonna come from how these different objects and that can communicate with, with one another. Um, once you've got, you know, say you're, say you're this main camera and you've got camera and then you've got flare layers and stuff, how do you get those to communicate with one another to um, work within the object itself or talk to other objects entirely, um, which will be the topic of our next one of these videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.